Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the craft along that I recorded the other day. Um, two quick little projects to finish off what I had done. Remember last time we did the notebook, the little um, trolley coin <laughs> purse for me and what else did we do the notebook oh the bottles and my recipe card my card recipe file right so this one i'm going to use iron on vinyl to make some coasters i have these cute little wooden coasters in my stash hannah got them and they were just craft wood or chip wood or whatever I painted them. I gave them a, a coat of white chalk paint. And there's four to a set. So I've got four of them here. Let me lay them out because I'm going to have to lay them out anyway and show you what I want to do with them. Whoop, there we go. Um, but I'm going to iron on these really cute little teapots. Are they not the cutest little thing you have ever seen? Look at that. How cute is that? Now, where's the little lid? There's a little lid that goes on there. Does that fit there or does that fit there? That fits there. That's a little lid that goes on. I'll put in there. And there should be a little lid for this one. Now, this is um, iron on vinyl. It's the same iron on vinyl I used in the last um, craft long to do the glass bottle, but I stuck it on with spray adhesive. How cute are they? Are they not just darling? Are they not just the cutest little thing? And I did this pretty color too. I think this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, here we go. How cute are they? Are they just, are they are so sweet. I just am, um, there's my tweezers. It's so much easier with tweezers, wouldn't it? Uh, my big fingers in the way. So, so sweet. So these just iron on. And yes, iron on vinyl will go onto wood. How's that for um, a fun thing? I think they are so, so sweet. Um, the pink is my favourite. Orange isn't ever a colour that I especially, I like to eat them, but I don't especially like the colour so much. But this pretty peach with bits of pink in it is quite sweet. All right. Okay, so to do that, I am using my Cricut, um, I think it's called a mini press. Don't even really know. But I will turn it on. It's that little green, little button there. And I'm going to put it on to two for a medium heat for this. And it will go green when and beep when it's ready. But how sweet are they? These will be gifts. These will be Christmas gifts. Um, but I'm so excited about these. These are so cute. And... The little coaster blanks, little wooden coasters, Hannah got them for me. And I really, it took me a while to figure out what I was going to do with them. But, oh my goodness. I decided to do this. There we go. Did you hear the beep? Now, because it's a painted surface, I do not want the little mini press to stick to the paint. So I am going to very carefully put just baking paper, just silicon paper over the top and get my little mini press and apply it. And hope against hope, <laughs> excuse me that it will work. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, let it cool. And that one 
looks pretty good, making sure it's all still reasonably centered. And just with the mini press, you do need to move it around whatever you are pressing. Um, if you've got one of the bigger Cricut presses, you put it down and you hold it in place. This one you move around. Now, this is such a nifty little gizmo. We got this at Spotlight on sale. We were VI, used our VIP discount. And honestly, it has been a game changer for me for doing iron-ons. Um, oh, so, so pretty. I'll show you in just a minute. Let me try the other these. I'm just going to pop that back in there. Let's straighten this up. I was using just my ordinary steam iron on dry to do iron on transfers, but uh, it took ages and it wasn't always successful depending on the transfer, the actual transfer itself. And it was very frustrating. So uh, I did think about one of the bigger presses, but they are very expensive. This came on sale, it was oh, well under $100. So, okay, here we go. Well, this one's a little bit quicker. Let me straighten it up a little bit. And get that knob straight. Okay, here. center. How's the smidge? That's better. Now I've got to do the thing again to the whole lid again, don't I? Okay, that's better. That might not be the lid for this particular teapot, I'm thinking. Let's see. Where are the others? This is the only other one, is it? A bit of tape on it from a scan and cut. I cut these teapots where a scan and cut image saved in the machine. I found it on the machine, sized it up, chose how I was going to cut it, and I was able to cut um, six of them at once, which was a real time saver. Okay. All right, good to go. Oh, that is so, so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. Okay, now there's a couple of spares in case I muck them up because, you know, this is me. And, you know, after the last um, debacle, and, of course, you guys have cooked with me, so you know what it's like. Okay, now, it's cooled. I should be able to lift the um, vinyl off. I can find it. Maybe I can't carry a sheet. There it is. <laughs> Sorry. Very nice. Oh, they are so, so pretty. I'm really excited about this off. I don't want to scratch the paint. I can't repaint really it easily. There we go. Oh, so, 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 so pretty. Oh. Oh, 
Now, guys, these would make really nice if you have to do them. Teacher gifts. Um, now, I use the scan and cut to make the and iron on vinyl, but you could just as easily um, cut your own from contact um, or by look for stickers and do that. I will give these a coat of um, varnish just to protect them because, you know, just, 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 come on, lift up. Oh, these are so, so pretty. I am all loving this. Have I done this one? No. How easy is that? No, really. Chalk paint. Chalk paint dries in no time. It takes absolutely no time to dry. So, you know, two coats of chalk paint took maybe an hour, I suppose. And then um, five minutes to less than five minutes to cut out the teapots and you just watch me put them on they're so cute i am loving them all right i will leave those stack those very carefully and tomorrow because it's night time now tomorrow i will um give them a coat of varnish just to finish them off Right, next project is the cute little bag that we had last time that, for whatever reason, I don't know. Oh, I hadn't um, mirror imaged the decal, the, the transfer. Okay, this one needs to go up to three. Now, I am going to iron it on but I'm going to trim it down first and I'm going to trim it pretty close okay the mini press is ready I'm going to trim it pretty close to the actual transfer and see how I'm not cutting it square or anything it will it will actually look better if it's not um, particularly, you know, in a nice big even square or anything. Now, you can get clear transfer paper, but I was all out. These little bags came from... I can totally make that. How cool is that? How's that cute? Now, just sort of put it like so. Okay. Now, this transfer paper is just, I think, again, $2 shop. Our $2 shop is great. It has the most amazing things in it um, 30 seconds is a long time isn't it when you're sort of waiting 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 Okay, so are you enjoying the crafting videos? I mean, I craft all the time, guys. I'm every day just about I'm doing something. But of course, I do it all on a budget because, you know, I am, after all, a cheapskate. We'll let that wait. Um, okay. 
Um, if it looks like it's um, burnt, I don't know if you can see that, where it's it's just because it's hot. It's not actually scorched. These are cute little bags. I just couldn't resist them when I saw them. They're so cute. I think they were a pack of three for three dollars. So they're a dollar each. And I thought about it, and I thought by the time hmm, material, the ribbon, and my time. I don't mean they they've fairly simple bags seriously um a dollar a dollar each i could afford to buy them now let me see if i can carefully lift this off it's cooled for a little bit Ooh, oh my giddy aunt. ouch how much fun is this going to be Oh. oh, there you go. Once it's cooled, that will fade back to normal, the normal creamy colour. I can totally make that. How neat is that? That is so fun. Little sewing bag, little dilly bag. Oh, love it. Love, 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 love it. And now I've got the, <laughs> here we go, this is the um, transfer paper I was using. Paper craft, iron-on t-shirt transfer paper. <sighs> it was not very expensive. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got it at our local $2 shop. Always check your $2 shop. You will find so many neat craft things in your $2 shop. Things like the little coaster blanks or um, alcohol wipes that I'm sure they got them in for the pandemic, but they are so handy when you are crafting. Then there's the, the little glass bottles and jars and things. Absolutely amazing range of stuff. Our $2 shop has paints, um, watercolour paint, folk art paints, the acrylics and things like that. There you go. I'm so in love with this little bag. I love it, love it, love it. It is so cute. Here we are. Little bag. Four little coasters. Oop, drop. There we go. That's tonight's effort. That finishes off what I was going to do in the last show for whatever reason I gave up I still haven't done the lazy Susan when I get that done I will um, be sure to bring you along and show you because I'm now I've got it out I really want to use it I want to use it I want to fill it up with little containers and use it to organize all my tools and things the glues and stuff because I have things like you know art glitter glue bottles of it everywhere here's another one but they're all scattered around the place, so I need to get them in one spot. And that was what that little um, Lazy Susan thing was supposed to do for me. Okay, thank you so much if you have made it this far for watching. Please remember to um, like, subscribe and share if you've enjoyed the video or if you like our channel. There are over 500 other videos well over 500 other videos that we've got on our channel for you, not just crafting. But until next time, I'm going to say happy cheapskating and good night. <laughs>